Now, now link list. We don't have separate questions for link list in modern time. We used to have so many link list questions where we had to put items in sequence and to link them up, but no more. Now link list is being applied through other data structures. So let's see what is remaining. Link list, binary tree, stack queue, link list. So let's start with link list. Let's do this link list from the book. So, node, an element of a list, pointer, a variable that stores the address of the node, it points to null pointer, a pointer that does not point to anything. This was a question in past paper. Start pointer, a variable that stores the address of the first element of a linked list. In figure 23.05, the data value in the node box so this is a linked list we have seen it now many times the only difference was that since this was being implemented using a stack so its shape you know change kar di as q uski shape change kar di thi as binary tree uski shape change kar di thi the formation of the node gets changed because the node is now dependent over the ADT, the data type, user defined data type. A new node A is inserted at the beginning. This is just conceptual understanding of the whole thing, not programmatic, conceptual. A new node A is inserted at the beginning of the list the content of start pointer is copied into the new node. Start pointer was pointing to this. So this is copied here. And the address of this new node is copied to start point. That is how it happens. These things were happening inside those subroutines. A new node P is inserted at the end of the list. The pointer field of the node L points to the new node now. And the pointer field of the new node P contains the other null pointer. To delete the first node, 
what do we do we copy the node b's pointer to the start pointer and that that is how we delete it we copy the pointer value of the node b to the start pointer it is deleted the start pointer is now pointing to d not to b to delete the last node we stay there and current node dot pointer is equal to current node dot next node dot pointer khatam ya current node dot pointer is equal to null last node is gone it is connected it now this is the most important thing sometimes the nodes are linked together in order of key field value to produce an ordered linked list this is what always happened until we started using linked list to be as binary tree as tag and queue this means a new node may need to be inserted or deleted from between two existing nodes this could be possibility so what we do temporary is equal to node b dot pointer node b dot pointer is equal to c address and c dot pointer is equal to temp you added a new node in between to delete node d you have to stay at node b and node b dot pointer is equal to node b dot next dot pointer now you are pointing to the last one node b dot pointer is equal to node b dot next dot pointer remember that in real applications the data would consist of much more than the key field and one data item this is why linked lists are preferable over linear lists what are linear lists simple arrays are linear lists when list elements need re reordering the only pointer needs changing in the linked list in the linear list whole of the data needs to be changed so what i'm suspecting from your pre release and current understanding is if you remember while we were sorting we use insertion insertion sort we use bubble sort and we actually moved values from one array object location to another array object location and i have been doing it you have been doing it other teachers were doing it what about if they actually don't move the data and then start moving the pointer of the array how about they are implementing these objects in one adt that is having two things one object and the second one is pointer think about it when you practice when you get free think about it this is food for thought i thought about it and i thought that if i will make a program that would be too complex but let's say the somehow make it simple and give it to you in exam that is quite possible because there is one thing which is not discussed or asked ever as of yet that we are having an array of objects and when we reorder this array we cannot move objects so what we do we copy values from one object to another and another object to third one how about don't do a, neither copy nor move just change pointers and reorder them think about it using linked list saves time however we need more storage space for the pointer field we can store the linked list in an array of records array of records means array of udts which we have been doing until now one record represents a node and consists of the data and a pointer when a node is inserted or deleted only the pointers need to get changed a pointer value 
is the array index of the node pointing to. Unused nodes need to be easy to find. Free point. So this is one thing we understood that if we are initializing an array, it is being initialized as an array of free list. And when we start creating our own list, we are creating a new list and free list is a shrinking. But let's look at this idea that all of the lists are there and there is one more list called free list. Okay? And we are borrowing nodes from the start of the free list and we are releasing nodes at the start of the free list. Same ideas. When an array of nodes is first initialized to work as a linked list, the linked list will be empty. So the start pointer will be the null pointer. All nodes need to be linked to form the free list. So this linking is always to form the free list. Show an example of the implementation of linked list before any data is inserted to it. Get used to with it. These these all codes I have jotted down and I have created a new folder for it. If you like to practice it. See, three list is four, then it goes to five, then six, then seven, and then finished. New list is starting from one, one goes two, two goes three, and three is empty. Now the same array showing two lists. Initially it was just one. This is what I was actually, here is the number, page number, uh, 328. Okay. Note that stack ADT and Q ADT can be treated as special cases of the linked list. The linked list stack only needs to add and remove nodes from the front of the linked list. The linked list Q only needs to add nodes to the end of the linked list, the null pointer side, and remove nodes from the front of the linked list, the head side. Are we good? OK. Binary trees, we discussed. We discussed this as well. Only the left pointer will create the free list. By paper bar do oh my has a paper layer. So the paper nickel and subco bar the map co other data data paper could take a fast or data structure up here map cosco review karvata. Okay. 